In this video, we are going to be covering the G15 versus the M1 Max on the Redshift settings. So from the previous video and kind of reading some of the comments, you guys saw that I did Cinema 40 on the M1 Max using the picture render view and then later at the end of the video using the progressive render um, that utilizes Redshift. So in this video, I went ahead and kind of thought about more of the process, read some of the comments. Um, so if there's any critiques, feel free to uh, share in the comments section below. But what I specifically focused on in this is the G15 version. So I ran the benchmark, um, got the benchmark results on the G15, and then afterwards I did the Redshift render view and switched everything to progressive. Um, so here we see that the viewport benchmark was 839 and if you don't remember from the previous video it was 1500 on the M1 Max. But here uh, we could see that on both this view, which is render view, I compared it to also the picture view um, and both settings were set to progressive, nothing else was changed. So I'm going to assume here that, uh, you know, based on that comment, the block sizes were the same. I haven't, didn't actually like check from the M1 Max. Um, but this was just the render view versus the picture view. Um, so basically in this comparison, I compared the picture view from M1 Max to, um, and then also included the uh, Redshift view and then did this test on the Redshift view. <laughs> I know it's confusing, but I have, I have a simple table. We'll just get to that data so you guys can see. Um, so really there's nothing to add except, you know, from when, when I was testing, um, the the results we could see that the m1 max at least in the redshift view which uses um the gpu more does beat out the render view and the picture view um in basically most cases i see a typo there it should, it should have been 13 seconds um for the pop but yeah this is pretty much the settings i got so if you think there's a way i'll, I'll redo this test just leave it in the comments below um but otherwise, uh, yeah, that's, that's the gist of the testing. If anyone's thinking about getting this device, um, at least for a Cinema 4D and using Redshift that has GPU acceleration, this is the settings that, or the timing outputs from the, uh, the views. So I left a link for all the comments, or sorry, all the links for if you want to do this testing on your own device to see how it does. Some people have been leaving comments um, in the comment section. Otherwise, um, check out our Discord, and I'll see you guys in the next video.